Hello everybody, it's me Jace and I'm back with the tutorial for a bracelet called Eagle Claws. Okay, let me just um, double check if I named it correctly, if I'm not sure. Well, I actually was the one who suggested. <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought it was Eagle's Claws. Um, it's Eagle Claws, okay. I suggested the name Eagle Claws. This was created by Lumania0304. <laughs> okay, this was, um, I suggested that because if you noticed, the bands that you see under look like they're claws of a bird. So, and since they're, they look mighty beautiful, I suggested it to be Eagle Claws. See, there. It was like claws, like, <laughs> okay, really cute. And this is my very first rendition. This is the standard one, how it looks without anything on them. Okay, very cute color, if you ask me. Okay, very pretty. Okay, and slow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the second version I made was with beads, and it looks super pretty with beads. There, that's how it looks. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. And I use the sweets inside, change the color of it, it's like this, and voila! Okay, so I like kind of playing around irregularly. My colors are like in release, so I say like two, one, two, one, two, and then two, and then, you know, black, and then pink, and then. <laughs> so different kinds of color schemes, it's up to you. And then I made another version, of course, my now, my present obsession, which has the center, large center bead, and my favorite mixed marble. Okay, those are the beautiful. One, see how cute. You can make this into a necklace if you want. Key. Okay, so there. And finally, my search for the masculine bag charm is over because I finally made a version that is very masculine. Ah, oh, that is my Eagle Claws bag charm. Super love it. Special thanks to DoreenBeads.com for my beads www.doreenbeads.com these this one just arrived yesterday and these two okay and all those beads right there and i want to thank um nixter 1976 for some of these beads and the chain okay so thank you so much so now i will teach you this is the bag chart this is um eagle claws by lumenia 0304 and the first color that we will be using will be blue for the sides that you see and then for the middle, I will be using this um, burgundy. And then for the one of the middle bands, I'll be using white. Okay, so because we have three sets of middle bands. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. First thing you need to do is to create a cap band on your hook. Okay, followed by, let's just fix the zoom. Okay, followed by a single band, place that cap band on it. And then reclaim the first cap band, just like that. And then put it back. And then you will add two per side. Okay? So that's first band, unloop the two. Reclaim the very first one and close. Next step. Second one, unloop the two. Reclaim the first band and close. So you got the first half done. Now we work on this side. So you turn it around. Now you remove the first band and reclaim that other cap band. Then put it back. Then you get your next two. Okay? So the first one, unloop the first two. Reclaim this first band. And then close. Get the second one. And loop the first two. Reclaim the first band. And close. And you've done it. You have your eight band configuration. Okay? And now we start. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to get the first middle band. And that will be followed by two other side bands of the same color you have to follow this pattern if you want the claws to come out okay the eagle claws <laughs> so if you change this it won't have the same effect but it's up to you if you want to change it but if you want to stick to the design 
have to stay with the three colors here. So step one is adding these three colors. So I get my first one and the first one goes under these two middle ones. Okay, so remove the first three with the middle band. Catch it and unloop these next two. Oops, two, okay. And then you will reclaim the two again. Reclaim and then close. So that's what you have. And then you will add these two, these two, okay. So you get the first one here and you will place this under these three, okay. What I do is I unloop all five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then you will reclaim number three and number four, okay. So reclaim number three and four and then this one you just release it like that and then close. Okay, cuentas claros, okay, and then you go to the other side. <coughs> you get the next one, which is this one. And loop the five again. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And then reclaim three and four. Three and four that and then release this again onto the hook and then close Ta -da! okay and then you get your next color which for me is white so it goes there the white goes under all of these here okay but you have to watch closely because this and this will have to be looped this way like that okay this one and then this one also goes here Ta -da! so when you put them back on the hook those should be switched so you have to watch carefully I'll just zoom in a little i think the camera is having a hard time let me try to zoom it Bink. it doesn't want to zoom hello there <laughs> okay there you go so you move this here Okay, so we add the white one now, so you get the white, and what I do is I simply remove the first two with the white, like that, and then I will catch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all eight onto that white, it's tight, two, Three, four, five, six. Keep the order. Seven, eight. Okay. Now, remember the first and the last have to be looped on top of the blues. So you get this first two. Two. Okay. And then you just unloop the maroon, the burgundy. Loop it over. There. Okay. And then you will reclaim the two middle bands these two like that and then you will work on this burgundy and pull it over the blue so for you to see that burgundy over the blue and then pick up the blue from under and then it goes that way okay I hope you saw that we will repeat that later but you will see now that's how it looks. I just placed it in order. Okay? See? And now you have the first claw right there. Okay? Now, you will get the next set of bands, which are the blue. But before you do so, don't forget, you will cross this one over here. So this one should be here before you unloop. Okay? And then you get your two blues again. There two and the two okay so to get the first first one and loop one two three four 
and 5. Okay? Then you will ignore the first 3 and you will reclaim the first 2. These 2. And then close. Okay? Then you get the next blue. Unloop the 3 bands and reclaim only the first one. Ta-da! Then close. <coughs> okay? Then go to the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Once again, these two have to be crossed. They have to put... Eek! Somebody called me. Okay. So, once again, we get the first blue. Remember, I told you earlier, this is how it looks. So, you have to cross the second blue over the white. Okay? Make sure to cross it over the white like that. Okay? So, you get the first blue. And then unloop the five bands. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Now, this tends to unravel. So, the white tends to go out again. So, you have to remember, always cross it that way. Now, if you have a problem with it keep, that keeps going that way, the trick with the hook is, like how we did earlier, you just get this blue over the white. Okay? Just get it over like that there once you get it over pull the white from under and then reclaim there okay then get the second blue and then unloop the three and reclaim the first one Ta -da! okay so that's how it looks the first segment my zoom keeps messing up i have to really use these okay so now we go back to step one. Step one is this again. So please copy this pattern before I removed it so that you can copy it. You have your first center band, the two side bands, one more center band, and then the two border bands. Okay, so let's start. Step one is putting this under the middle two. So you remove the first three with your middle band and then unloop the middle two. <clears throat> and then reclaim the two and then close so that's what you have okay then you get the next one unloop the five bands three four five and then reclaim the first four so that's one two then I just release this Put it back and then there. Okay? Then go to the other side. Next one. Repeat all five bands. Two, three, four, five. Go there. <laughs> the blue doesn't want to follow. There you go. And then reclaim three and four. And then just release the middle one. Release it, let it get on the hook, and then close. ta -da! Okay? And then now, you get the white. And all you have to do is to get the white under the middle eight. Okay? You can also do it this way. So place the ten bands from the beginning, and then the next eight. All the way there, to the eighth band there. And then... You get the first two closest to the hook and then loop over the eighth band out again. There. Okay? Then get the two middle. Reclaim them. Okay? And then get the third and the fourth, which are these two. Work on those two. But what you will do is you will pull over. Okay? You will pull over this burgundy over the blue. And then pick up the blue from under there and then place the last two and then just slide out to get the white in there there okay all the techniques I can think of for you right then now we go to the border bands so we switch these two again just like that then now, unloop the next five. One, two, three. Four, 
5. And then reclaim the first 2. 1, 2, close. And then you get the next blue. And loop the next 3. Reclaim the first 1. And then close. <coughs> okay. Go to the other side. Ting, 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 ting. And then you get the first border band. Oh, you have to switch these two, by the way. Blue and white, switch over. And then border band, and loop the next five. And then reclaim the first two. And then close. Last border band, and loop the next three. Reclaim the first one. And then close. See? So, we go back to step one and we will do it one last time. Again, for the middle band, I remove the first three and then capture the next two. The next two, two. And then reclaim them again and then close. And then you close, close, close. Come closer. <coughs> okay. Then you get the next middle band and loop the five one two three four and five reclaim three and four then release this one then put it back on the hook just like that and then close then you go to the other side okay then you go in and loop the five again one, two, three, four, five. And then reclaim three and four. Oops, sorry. <laughs> three and four. And then just release the band under again. There, get it on the hook and then close. So you have that. You now need a white band again under the eight in the middle, right there. So you just remove the first blue and then loop the next eight. There. So you have eight bands. Get the first two closest to the hook and then loop over the per, uh, burgundy. And then reclaim the two middle bands. Right there. Oops. Right there. And then now, get the burgundy over the blue and reclaim the blue from under. Okay? There. And then you close. Ta-da! And now we go to the border bands again. So you cross these two. Get the first border band. And loop the next five. And then reclaim the first two. Get the last border band. And loop the three. And reclaim the first one. And go to the other side. This one got switched. This is supposed to be like this. There, that's the correct one. Okay. So now you place this over the white again. And then you get the first border band and loop the next five and reclaim the first two. Close. Then get the last border band and loop the three. Reclaim the last band and close. And there you go. How's that? Okay. One last time just to be sure. Okay. So once again, center band. Get one center band, remove the first three, and then capture the middle two, and then reclaim the middle two again and close. Okay. Next, you get two more, one on each side of these, and loop the next five. Reclaim the first two, release, put it back and close. 
go to the other side and loop the next five the claim three and four release the burgundy and then close and then a white under the eight okay so release <coughs> excuse me eight bands reclaim the next two to the hook two next to the hook and then unloop the burgundy again reclaim the middle two and then cross over that burgundy over the blue and reclaim the blue And then close. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then you loop the blue over the white again. And then and loop the next five. Claim the first two. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. And then get the next one. And loop the next three and reclaim the first one and close <coughs> excuse me <coughs> now you cross the blue over the white again get the next blue and loop the five reclaim the first I was almost done and someone called again <laughs> Anyway, I'm actually on my last band anyway. So, last one, unloop the three, and reclaim the first one. And you're done. Okay, so once you're done, all you have to do is just get a single band. Place all of these on that single band. Okay, and then you will reclaim number three and six. So this is number three. And then this is number six, six, and three. And then there. C clip that. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so once again, everybody, before anything else, I would like to say thank you so much to www.dreambeads.com. Okay, for my beads. Beautiful. Okay, and of course, here is my bag charm which i love so much okay so these are the beautiful eagle claw eagles eagle claws bracelets okay and when you make the bracelet please don't forget the hashtag chase alvarez eagle claws bracelet and lumania 0304 because we would love to see your i would love to see your editions i'll see you in my next tutorial bye